Your community showcases everything you believe in, your values, your energy, and the kind of connection you want people to feel. Flint Community is designed with those goals in mind, making community building smoother, smarter, and more personal. And that really reflects through advanced features and powerful integrations that make it a perfect fit for creators uh, who want more than just a basic forum. So this video is going to be a fun ride for those who love to personalize, optimize, and analyze over every detail for growing their community. So in this walkthrough, I'll begin by styling your community to match your brand, uh, then explore settings that enhance the experience. And after that, I'll show you how it syncs with Flint CRM to automate your member flows and finally end on a high note with uh, some powerful analytics insights to see what's really going on behind the scenes. So let's jump in. So the moment I open my community, uh, I can feel the vibe and just one click, I can, you know, totally change that vibe, uh, light or darker, whichever suits the moment. But uh, this time I have got some ideas to personalize it completely. So uh, let's see how far I can go with Flint community, okay? Okay, so I'm heading to the settings and right at the top, I can easily see the customize colors option. Uh, let's tap it. Okay. So on the left, I can already choose between light and dark mood. And I really love that. Uh, and yes, it clearly says that, you know, members will see the personalized styles uh, based on what they have selected. Okay. Uh, so I'll adjust based on the member's preference. Now for the color schemes, uh, the default preset is already selected, but I can see some presets already there to help me in customizing the outlook of my community. So let me try them one by one. Okay. Okay, so all of them are pretty slick, actually, but I, I really like the ocean blue. Uh, it feels fresh and, you know, inviting to see what more I can do. So I'll dive into the custom section. And here I have got three sections to, you know, fully tailor the look and feel, uh, feel of the whole community. So there is the header and the sidebar and the general look. Okay, so I'm starting with the header. Uh, this is where I can set the tone with color, uh, something bold or something soft or totally on brand for the community. But personally, I like keeping things neat, so I'll keep it unchanged. Okay. So the same flexibility I have in the text, uh, I'll make some changes to give it a sharper look. Okay. Well, uh, the active item background is something uh, I'm really interested in. Uh, you know, it helps your members see exactly, you know, which section they are in, uh, especially when the community grows and the feed starts getting uh, packed. So I think a brighter color will be a better choice here to highlight this part. And this one looks good here. So let's stick with this. Okay, so now I'm going to change the hover background. Uh, you know, this helps highlight the menu item someone's you know, about to click on. So it must stand out like this one. I think the default hover color looks great here, so I'm not making any changes. So moving into the sidebar, I have the same customization options uh, as the header. So let me just tweak them a bit. And done, uh, looks just the way I want. Okay, so in the general section, I have got a lot more to personalize. Uh, here I can change the body background, which will instantly change the overall look of my community. So I'm staying with the default, but if you're interested in making a diverse, you know, colorful community, uh, I think this can be a great for you. Okay. So the primary content background kind of helps community post uh, to pop out. So let's add some player of colors to it. Okay. Uh, I would also like to make some changes to the secondary content background. Uh, and done. Yeah. Okay, so the text and off-text colors align perfectly, so I'm keeping them unchanged. But but I will add a primary border to highlight the main section for my community members. Uh, it's perfect. So if I move on to the navigation, 
uh, I can customize the link to the main content area change the primary button background and play with the navigation text color and background but I'm okay with this look so if I flip the switch to dark mode uh, I have got almost uh, you know the same ready templates for this so I can pick anyone to breeze through the process but let's quickly check what's hidden in the custom so well uh, the customization here is exactly the same and we'll just change the top bar and sidebar a bit to highlight them if differently twice okay so uh, as of now i'll keep keep the other things unchanged for now but you can customize it exactly the way you want so let's save the settings and hit exit to get back to the settings and it looks nice right and i'm back in the general section uh, everything set up earlier is right where i left it and it's it's looking solid but that's one small thing i want to fix uh, which is global post status so i'll just enable this and this way community members can you know post freely uh, without selecting a space so this is this is super useful for announcements or general updates all right uh, let me just double check those customizations uh, yep everything looks great even the manager section is very neat okay so next i'm moving to the email settings uh, this is a key for making sure each update uh, reach your members inbox uh, so this this must be set properly so luckily i am already using flynn smtp so i'm going to enter the same details here so let me just add them you can you can use any sender name and email but trust me um, using a tool like flint smtp uh, really boost you know the email deliverability so i'd highly recommend you to use this one i'll just fill the rest of the box so as i scroll down i see some handy check boxes to control when members uh, receive notifications i will tick all the boxes uh, and if needed my members can customize it uh, based on their preference and finally there's the digest email timing so let me just fix the time and date okay it's done so let's save the changes i have made and give a final check yeah and the email setup is uh, on point well, if I move to features and add-ons, I have got access to some advanced tools that are, you know, perfect for boosting engagement. Uh, if you are wondering how to use them, I covered it all in my previous video, how to, you know, boost engagement inside your community. And I'm pretty sure you'll love it. Just under that, there's a list of awesome plugins that, you know, sync seamlessly with Flink community. And these are great for task automation, uh, lead generation uh, also monetization and more uh, i already showed how to monetize your course in the last lesson and later in this one i will guide you through managing member access and access management with fluent crm so just keep watching so now let's talk about manage topics okay it allows me to keep relevant posts uh, together uh, like i can keep all the community announcements organized under one topic and new updates in another so that members can find uh, what they need with a click so okay let's do this so if i click on new topic a page will appear to fill in some details uh, let me add them one after another and just like this i'm heading So I'll check the box for that and just save it. Okay, I'm done. This topic is added. Okay, so I'm reserving this one just for you know admins and moderators. So from now on, I can group all announcements uh, under it, and when community members you know click on it, uh, they get a clean list of related content. Okay, so I think this is a, such a smarter you know little feature that keep things organized and accessible. So you can share your opinion with it in the comments. Tell us uh, what do you feel about it. Okay, so already I can see the space groups are already sorted here. 
but uh, when I open the menu settings, wow, there's so much I can tweak. Uh, let me show you something very interesting. Okay, let's say I want to link up my store, website, or maybe to a post uh, where all my community guidelines are listed. I can do that here. Okay. So for now, let's try to add a website to the primary menu items. Okay, so if I select add new link, uh, a pop-up to provide the details is there. So I'll add a name, paste the image link. Uh, tick the boxes to enable it and open it on another page okay yeah so last but not least uh, just save it and it's added at the top bar of my community and giving instant access to my community members whenever they want so just like that i can embed any kind of link whether in the profile drop down uh, sidebar or even sidebar bottom link groups okay so after that uh, i'll go directly to the access management as I, as I mentioned it in the features and module, here I am going to show you how you can uh, manage access with Fluent CRM and automate your tasks. Okay, so let's enable the access management. I have got some check boxes there. Uh, I will tick them all. So now as soon as someone joins a course or space, uh, you know, Fluent community checks uh, if they exist in Fluent CRM. And if not, uh, it adds them and applies the right tag, creates a WP account and shoots off a welcome email, all of it, you know, automatically. Okay, then I'm going to map the fields with Fluent CRM tags and keep the rest in autopilot. Well, uh, it's done, so let's save the changes. So now on the other hand, uh, if I open the Fluent CRM dashboard, I can run an email marketing campaign, uh, send a nurturing email sequence, and even create automation to save time and automate processes. So uh, if you want a detailed video on that, uh, you can share it with us in the comment section. Okay, so let's get going. Now I have course management, uh, and it's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, I can manage every detail of my course from there. Clicking into a course shows me the lesson structure. So from the overview tab, I can check the number of enrolled students, their completion rates and the feedback. Uh, so if I flip to the students tab, I get a live look at each learner's progress. Okay, and of course, if I ever, you know, want to update something, uh, the edit options always just one click away. Okay, so I'm almost at the end and you know the last byte is always the sweetest. So now it's time to uncover the analytics. Okay, so the overview is showing everything going on with the community in the last month, like members joined, uh, the post shared, and also the comments made, and even the number of spaces created. Okay, so I can get all the overview uh, for the last week and also for the 15 days and I can get the overview for the last three months so if I want any data for any specific period of time uh, I have the custom option all up for it so all I need to do is pick the time frame and the data of that particular time will be at my fingertips uh, I can even check the activities uh, whether I want to see them for my community posts comments or members and scrolling down a bit we'll uncover the popular day uh, and time which basically shows the most active period of my community members within that week so this can be very handy for anyone to make data-driven decisions okay so let's click the member tab now uh, as soon as I change tabs to members, uh, the layout adjusts to show member specific data. So I can see all the members data, check members activities and get an overview of members standings based on their activity in the community. Uh, that's very cool, I think. Finally, uh, switching to the spaces tab gives me a breakdown of what's happening in there. But, you know, instead of getting all insights together, I can see uh, what's going on each by handpicking them. Uh, as I skim through them uh, at the bottom, I can see the top 
spaces with the most activities are inside my space. Okay, so. So if you are someone keen about real-time data tracking, you know, monitor key metrics such as uh, user participation, uh, post interactions and overall growth, uh, this can be truly helpful in your community growth. And that's pretty much everything I have for now, a complete walkthrough in the advanced features and integrations of uh, Fluent Community. And I tried to cover a full suite of features designed to streamline community management, uh, including visual customization, topic organization, uh, access automation through Fluent CRM, and, uh, and tried to end it on a high note with the powerful analytics. Now it's your turn. Which part of the tutorial resonated with you most and what feature will you start using right away? Share it in the comment section and don't forget to watch the next video where I will share real life use cases for Fluent Community plus uh, tips on growing and maintaining your community effectively. See you in the next one.